You're around these guys with a bunch of jewelry all the time and stuff, you know? So it's like, man, I want some jewelry too, you know? Murder Beats, take one. I feel like putting on like a Cuban, or I feel like putting on like a Cuban with like a pendant, or just like maybe just throwing some tennises, or just like no pendants, just like throw some tennises on. These are like my most recent, I wear this like every day. My Waffy. It's two-tone. White gold and rose gold. It's very heavy. It's like, I forget how much, it's like, it's like 600 grams. Wait, 800? It's 800, yeah. Is it like two pounds of weed? This is like $100,000. Just this buckle, this baguette buckle is like 30,000. And then there's this one. This is like a little like 50,000. This is the baguette Cuban. Rose gold. Actually, I have like a chain that goes with it. I got like a big murder gang chain. That's what connects to this. It's just like my murder gang logo. So it's like, it's like the murder, like it's kind of like the murder font over here with like a little gang at the bottom. And it's just like on like one big piece, like with baguettes and stuff. Chains are very expensive. I know like, honestly, a lot of people probably don't think they're that much, but they are like, this is like some 15 pointers right here. These are like 15,000. Two 10 pointers right here. These are like 10,000 each. These are 30 pointers, these are 30,000. This is my favorite. Yeah, no, I love I love the tennis look, you know? Casual days and stuff. So we're all put them all on together. I know kind of like how much people spend on stuff. You can tell by weight and just like looking at diamonds. I got this in Atlanta from Wafi, my jewel in Atlanta. So I got this probably like a year ago. And like at the time, like I wanted to start like getting more bracelets and stuff. So then I'll just like throw in a bracelet and then just like have nothing else. Rose gold. Baguettes with some other diamonds, 10,000. I got this rose gold ring. It's like baguettes. I've honestly never even worn this. Maybe I should wear it. I like it. But yeah, it's cool. I bought, it's like a little like 10,000. Then I got like these two little like wedding bands. Put them together, I stack them. I think they're like 6K each or something. Yeah, I wear these a lot. And then I got the Murder Beast ring, like 10,000. It's like the signature MB. Same MB off right here. I wear this on my pinky like all the time. This is the OG murder piece right here. This is one of the first pieces that I ever made uh, from a jeweler in Toronto named Chris, Rock City Jeweler, shout out to Chris. Someone on Instagram sent me this logo and then I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. I'm just gonna use it as my logo, probably like a long time ago, like seven years ago. So, and then I just kind of ran with it. So then I went from that to this. When I started making beats, some uh, my one boy told me like, yo, like you gotta put like a name to your work if you wanna start like getting out there and stuff. So I was gonna start putting my beats on YouTube. So I was like, I'm just gonna call it Murder Beats because I'm a Murder Beats and I'm Murder Beats, you know? You know, people always wanted me to change my name, wanna go with like my government name, my last name, whatever, you know, but I just wanna stick with it because I felt like I was building my brand pretty quickly, you know? So this is the murder chain, you know what I'm saying? Rose gold, solid gold, lots of diamonds. I just wear it on like a tennis. This is like, 15,000, I think, or 20,000. Yeah, so this chef, I got this made like, probably like a couple years ago. It's like very heavy. I had a show in Canada for New Year's and I needed my jeweler to finish it before then. So he didn't even get time to put diamonds on the top of it. I needed it like right away. Jeff Murda, you know, I cook up all the, all the work and shit, so. But yeah, this, this is like 20,000. And then there's this piece. This is the OG, Keep God First piece. This is a logo off of my first mixtape that I dropped probably a couple years ago. This is made by Aviani, little 10,000. Oh, and then I have this. This is like, I just bought this like off a random jeweler that came to my house like last year. It's like a martini cut cross. Just thought it looked cool. This is like, it's like 8,000. This is like a very special piece to me. I got, I bought this uh, on my birthday. Uh, these are my two boys who passed away. Smoke Dog and Cozy. You know, I see that like Meek Mill and like some people got like picture frames and stuff. So, so I just throw them on some tennises, you know? See my boys when I look in the mirror and stuff, you know? Makes me feel good. That was probably like 25,000 or something. And then I got this OG YRM piece made by Aviani. And this is actually yellow gold but I like dipped it to rose gold so I could like wear it with all my stuff, but it just like wears off. I started everything yellow gold. So I had like yellow gold jewelry, you know, like this, like this is like yellow gold, you know? 
I think Offset had all rows. And he was like, man, like you should switch everything to rows. I just liked how it looked. You're not gonna see someone like with a fake chain. It's like rose gold or some shit, you know? So I just switched everything to rose gold and I just stuck with it. Like I always like wanted like a cool watch. I never knew like when I was gonna get jewelry or you know what I'm saying? But I was like, I was like, man, like it'd be cool to get like a Rolex or something, you know? Like I got this watch right here, 40, 40 millimeter presidential Rolex, rose gold. It's got the baguettes in the dial and stuff. I bought this actually one day I was just like out eating sushi. I, I kind of got drunk. And then I was like, you know, I knew there was like a jewelry store like around the block. So I was like, I'm gonna go in there. Let me see what they got. Just walked out with this. Real shit is this Aki purchase right here. But I love this watch, you know? Very classy, you know, you can wear this out. You wanna go on a hike, you know, wear this one, you know what I'm saying, whatever. It's a plain Jane, you know what I'm saying? You need one. It's probably like 40,000. You got the AP with the baguettes in the band. Rose gold, royal oak. I had the two-tone and I wanted the all rose. And then at the time, not a lot of people had the baguettes in the band. So I was like, man, I wanna be like one of the first with that. So this is dope. This is one of my favorite watches. This watch, probably like 80,000, 100,000. I know this watch went up like 20,000 since I bought it. I bought this like a year and a half ago. I don't buy them planning on selling them and like making money off it, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanna have these forever, you know? Like I want in 40 years, I wanna have a bunch of watches and be like, oh yeah, like I remember this watch and this watch, you know? I'll bring back memories. This watch I bought for my birthday, Richard Milley, um, Le Mans edition. A lot of people got Richard Millie's. I think Offset has a Le Mans one too. These watches are dope, those sports watches and stuff. This is like one of like 130 watches or something. This watch is spent like, like 100, it's like 180,000, 200,000. I like to find out like how it's made. You know, like these watches, like someone like handmade this watch. You know what I'm saying? This watch probably took, might, might have took a couple months to make. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy that just like the machinery, like looking into the watches and stuff. You know, it's just like amazing, you know? I love designing, like most of this jewelry, like I designed it, you know? Yeah, I'm actually like working on like cooking up some like new pieces right now. So definitely do like a part two sometime soon.